This is Gabi, and she's beautiful and talented. But today, we all need her training. So, Gabinye Muguruza's footwork is a result of deliberate practice, dedication, and a strong focus on agility, balance, and precision. So, even wonder how she, she maintains her impressive strength and agility on, a, on the court. One of our secret weapons lies in the resistance movement on the court. This training technique involves the use of resistant bands and other equipment to add extra resistance to her movement. By pushing against this resistance, she builds muscle strength, endurance, and explosive power. Not only does this e technique help her improve her physical attributes, but also sharpens her footwork and reaction time. The resistance challenges a muscular to work harder making her movement on the court even more fluid and efficient. So, uh, next time you see Muguruza gliding effortlessly across the court, remember that her resistant training plays a swing control in achieving that finesse. She also uh, focuses on speed and precision. Moves on the court are, other, are nothing short or outspring. A key factor contributing to his remarkable agility is a commitment to footwork reaction drills. These drills improve rapid changes in direction, quick starts, stops, and explosive movement. They are designed to enhance a footwork balance and reaction time. Imagine this, the split-second decision she has to make during a match, whether it's reaching for a, a tough shot or turning a fast serve, footwork reaction drills enables her to react swiftly to unstoppable and uh, sorry unpredictable situations, putting her in a better position uh, to control the game. So, the next time you are practicing, don't forget to add some uh, footwork reaction drills to your routine for that extra uh, edge on the court. Then you might, you might have noticed Gabi engaging in a shadow tennis. This less unique practice is all about mimicking her own shots and movement without a ball. Focusing solely on technique, footwork, and court coverage is like practicing a choreographed routine to fine tune her moves, memory, and positioning. But shadow tennis is not just about the physical aspect is more about mental game as well. By visualizing different scenarios and practicing various shots mentally, Muguruza sharpens her strategic thinking. Uh, this mental mastery helps her uh, make quick decisions during a match, uh, ensuring she's always in the right uh, place at the right time. So, uh, Muguruza's movement on the court seems almost effortless. One of our training secrets lies in sand drills for mobility movement. Practicing in the sand adds an extra challenge due to the ins ins uh, instability it provides. It, this, is, uh, this in turn en enhances her balance, flexibility, and overall body control. Moving gracefully on the sand requires precision and control. Qualities that translate remarkably well onto a hard court. The sand drills not only helps uh, prevent injuries but strengthen stabilizing muscles, but also contribute to her unique finesse and elegance on the court. So, if you're seeking that finesse in your game, consider adding some sand drills to your training routine. Also, behind those Gabby swings lies a combination of strength, technique, and control. Our training includes power swing drills, but which involve controlled yet forceful shots against resistance. By mastering these shots, she maximizes her powerful potential while maintaining accuracy and consistency. Perfecting powerful uh, swings requires mastering the timing of the shot, weight transfer, and the release of energy at the right moment. This explosive yet control approach gives her an upper hand and delivering those game-changing shots. 
So if you're aiming to add more power to your swing, make sure you incorporate power swings drills into your practice sessions. She does the split second movement, which allows her to, to quickly shift her weight, react to the open shots, and position herself optimally to make a return. It's a must do. Now, Gabby arms want to begin with. First thing, she does the dumbbell curls. You might be thinking, tennis is all about agility and footwork, why curls? But there's a method to move the madness. Dumbbell curls might seem like a regular gym girl's move. But for Gabine Muguruza, they are a secret weapon for building strong and stable arm muscles. In tennis, a powerful serve and accurate shot demands more than just a good swing. The core strength generated from these curls enhances her overall stability, giving her that extra edge to outmaneuver her opponents on the court. Arm um, TRX training, the superhero of functional fitness. So, why does Garbine hop onto those all these TRX bars? Well, besides being challenging full body workouts, the TRX exercises like suspended push-ups and row much contribute and rows contribute to our core strength and stability. And up to next, the spider queen, she is hooked up to the resistant bands, pulling and tugging away. It might seem like seem counter initiative, but the resistant bands pose her to go to her enhancing both flexibility and power. A killer combo intense. Now I'll explain why she spent time pulling cables at the gym. Probably I get I can get you motivated. So the cable pose might look like they are all about bulking up but there is more to it than meets the, the eye. For tennis player precision and control uh, and control are paramount. Cable poles with the adjustment weight and smooth resistance help her to fine tune her muscles to work in harmony. This exercise is able to, to strengthen her muscles while honing her control. Over each movement, the results shows found their mark with pinpoint accuracy thanks to the strong synergy sorry, of strength and precision. Wrist strength isn't just about guiding power, it's about enhancing control. Okay fellas, let's break down Erbinia's backhand, shall we? Man, this lady got some serious skills on the court, especially when it comes to the backhand swing of hers. So, here is the scoop on what makes her backhand a force to break on with. First off, let's talk about her grips. Uh, Garbine got those down parts. She's using the right grip to get the sweet, uh, that sweet blend of control and power. And then there's that swing as smooth as bar. You watch her hit the backhand and we can practically feel the fluidity in the air. It's like she's dancing through uh, her shot. But it's just it's not just about the grip on the string. She kicks uh, she kicks things off her killer unit turn. It's all about the initiating movement that sets the stage for a whole motion. And she gets and she get uh, so she got it nailed down. The way she turns her body is like well oil machine getting ready to launch. Now here's what Here's where the magic happens. She knows how to generate power. It's not just, she's not just muscling her way through. She's using the kinetic chain. You know, that fancy term for the sequential movement of the body part to her advantage. It's all about the energy flowing from the ground up. And she got the right formula. That's what gives her backhand that zing. Let's not forget the, uh, her depth. Oh boy, she's all about she's all about extending those arms out to, tag, to target. It's like she's reaching out to to chat to touch other end of a court with the heart with her. Now let's talk about the bouncy ball excellence she does. You know that half ball looking thing that people stand on. The bouncy ball for a light athlete like Gabby 
incorporating this exercise into a training routine is like a secret weapon. This exercise challenges her balance and stability like no other. When she stands or performs movement on the st unstable surface of the boss ball, her body preoceptors, pre pre fancy word for sensor that helps her know where her body is in her space, kick into an overdrive. This means that her muscles have to work extra hard to keep her stable and her stable and control. That's exactly what she needs in the tennis court. Think about it. When she's printing to reach a ball or making quick lateral movement, making excellent balance and stability can make all the difference between hitting an amazing shot and losing control. Let's move on to the, uh, the dumbbell squats. Garibinha knows it well. They are a fantastic way to target multiple muscle groups in a lower body, including the carobs, hamstrings, and glutes. By adding resistance th through the dumbbells, she's not only building strength but also enhancing her overall power and knowing all well that powerful, a powerful lower body is crucial for generating explosive power, or sorry, movement on the tennis court. Whether she's serving, lunging, or for short or pushing off the, uh, the change of direction, the strength she gains the, from the dumbbell squats translate directly to in, to in, into an improved on-court performance. Now, into the hip thrust. They're all about targeting the glutes, those big muscles that play a massive role in stabilizing the pelvics and generating force during the movements. Mm. Her forehand is a significant part of her game. However, like any player, she has her strength and areas that could use improvement. When it comes to her forehand, it's evident that Muguruza has developed a solid foundation. She got the basic element down. You, see, you, you can see that in the way she approaches the shot. One of the aspects that stands out in her mid-inside outswing, this means that she's able to generate a lot of power and control by hitting the ball from the inside of the court towards the outside. It's a great technique for opening up the court and putting pressure on her opponents. Another aspect of Mugu Ruza's forehand that contributes to its effectiveness is her ability to get her racket underneath the ball. This allows her to impart topspin on the ball, which helps it clear that net and dip down into the court. This top spin not only gives her more margin of her error in terms of clearing the net, but also helps her bounce, ball bounce high and kick off the court upon landing. This can make it challenging for opponents to handle the shots effectively. However, one area where Muguruza tends to struggle is leaving balls too short with a forehand. This can be double-edged sword especially against top-level players. When she leaves the ball short, it gives her opponent an opportunity to step into the court and make and take control of the point. Against players who can, are quick or move, have, and move and have more powerful shots, this can put her in, on the defensive, which, which is not where she wants to be. One of the reasons behind this issue is lack of extension. Extension is refers to the movement of the arm reaching out, the t out towards the target. In Garbinia's case, she's, she might be missing a bit of extension in her forehand. This can result in, in her not fully leveraging her arms, reaching to push the ball deeper into the court. Instead, shots might land around the service line, leaving them vulnerable to attack. So, when it comes to Garbinia Muguruza's serve, there's definitely something interesting going on. Her first serve is like a secret weapon. It often gets her some easy points, you know. Those essays that make her open to wonder what just happened. It's a strong weapon in her arsenal, no doubt. However, in the second serve, things can get a bit shaky or messy. You'll notice that sometimes those balls land a bit too short, a bit too short in a service box. It's like she's trying to play itself, but it might not always work in a way in her favor. The second serve 
uh, is all about finding the, that balance between safety and aggression. Now, let's talk about, about let's talk about her technique. When a Mugruza gets ready to serve, he takes her racket up high pretty early in the game. Her motion might seem a bit smoother than her other, some others, but that's not really an issue. Her overall motion is, is actually pretty smooth and, flu and fluid, which is greater for consistency. Thanks for watching. Will you leave a comment below just to pass some love? I appreciate it.